Welcome back to Sunrise. An Air Force plane carrying up to 100 people evacuated from Afghanistan has now touched down in Perth this morning. Now, the group of Australian citizens and visa holders came via the UAE and were processed by immigration officers before entering hotel quarantine. It's a very different story on the ground in Kabul as the Taliban continues to tighten its grip on the capital. And for more, I'm joined now by Immigration Minister Alex Hawke. Uh, Minister, good morning to you. Thank you for your time. If I could start with some of the key numbers, how many Aussie troops are taking part in this rescue mission? And I guess importantly, how many people are we hoping to evacuate to Australia? Yeah, well, good morning, Matt. It is a very chaotic and difficult, dangerous situation in Kabul on the ground and at the airport. So I won't go into exact details of how many troops we've sent forward. However, we are working with our international uh, partners to secure the airport, uh, to provide security for people getting to the airport, around the airport precinct. And Australian soldiers are there. They're in harm's way. We have our border force officials, our foreign affairs officials on the ground, all working hard to process people that can get to the airport. And as you point out, internationally, we're working with our partners. Overnight, Foreign Minister Maurice Payne met with our counterparts again uh, to further work on the plan to provide uh, passage, safe passage for people to that airport in Kabul. So everyone is working very hard to get people through those Taliban checkpoints to the airport and onto those planes. Minister, what do you say to claims that Australia has abandoned those who helped us when we needed it most, namely translators, interpreters, who now say their lives are at risk? Well, Australia is one of the countries that since 2013 we had a program to meet our obligations to people who helped us in our defence forces or foreign affairs. Um, we started granting visas and getting people resettled in 2013 and every year since 2013. So we've been a good neighbour and friend of Afghanistan's for a long time. We've had 8,500 people resettle from Afghanistan since 2013. But, but, uh, but that human is rights a, a campaigners, good Minister, say that's not nearly enough. I'll give you an example. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Ezzatullah Rahimi, who spent four years as an interpreter for the ADF, says his family is now being hunted and killed by the Taliban as retribution. We can see him there now. He's been fervently asking your government for an answer for over a year. He hasn't heard back. He says that it's now or never to help. Uh, what, what, what do you say to his family? Well, firstly, we say we're absolutely dismayed to see the situation in all of Afghanistan. The entire world um, has been... But dismay been, doesn't uh, help his family, short. does it? Well, I'm just saying, Matt, uh, Australia has done its absolute best. We've provided security in Afghanistan for 20 years. Um, with the withdrawal, we had a planned exit. We had our staff at the embassy withdrawn. We had our defence forces withdrawn. And we continue to move people from who are Afghan nationals in the months leading up in an urgent way out of the country. Not everybody will be able to get out. And sometimes people have extended family throughout the country who four or five years ago might have chosen to stay but now need to leave. Um, now now we have an urgent and desperate situation. Um, we will do what we can. We have Australian citizens on the ground. We have permanent residents on the ground. We have Afghan nationals with Australian visas on the ground. We will move as many people as we can. But of course in this situation, in a war zone, uh, in, a, in a situation where the country has collapsed, the government has given up, the forces haven't fought, it will be difficult, it will be dangerous, it will be desperate. And, and we are dismayed to see those scenes, as the world is, and we'll do our absolute best. It is no doubt a dangerous situation and they need the help as soon as they can get it. Uh, Immigration Minister Alex Hawke, we're grateful for your time this morning.